Hello friends, Tony here, welcome back. So in the previous video I showed you how we can work with a multi-tenancy on filament and I told you that in that video that I created the video only because I had a comment on YouTube how we can install the filament shield on the multi-tenancy project with filament. And in this video I'm going to show you how you can install that but it's not, it's not supported yet, it's not working correctly. So you can go to filament shield repository and I find that the support multi-tenancy is closed and closed as not planned. Okay. Just keep in mind. Well, I'm going to install and I'm going to show you, but this is not going to work as you expect. Now here is the project we have from the last video. Uh, I have here two teams also i have added these tasks crud so we can create a task and let me just open the yeah i'm going to open the terminal here and i'm going to say open this with a vs code so let's let me just say open the task and show you on the task i have added the name also the description which is nullable no and then the version id for the team and the user the task is going to belong to the team and to the user and also if i open the team we have here users and also tasks has many tasks also if i open the user i have this relationship here and if i open the task yeah project fillable and then team belongs to and also user belongs to and now we have uh, something like this okay we are on the filament if i go to laravel got a task i don't have any tasks because the filament multi-tenancy is going to is working as a query it's going to fetch uh the task based on the team so we are on the team laravel and as you can see we have laravel here is going to get only the tasks belong to the Laravel. If I go to the filament, now it's going to get the tasks belong to the filament team. Okay, so if I go to Laravel and create a new team, a new task, sorry, let's use a fake filter here. I'm going to create that. Okay, created, got a task, and yeah, we have this one. Now, if I go or let's create another one here just to show you here now we have two with the team laravel and if i go back to filament task we have only one also here we have this user if we change the laravel got the users we have this which is the test user who has created two teams okay now let's see let's come here and go to plugins scroll down let's search by polar and this one shield go to installation and here you can see we have a multi-tenancy support anyway so let's install this package so let me just zoom it for you and i'm going to copy this command which is to install to require the package come here paste that in then also this one okay then we need to go to user and add the has roles so let me just open the user model and right here we need to say uh, has roles and we need to import that save those come here now set up shield and here we have without tenancy and with tenancy let's see with tenancy copy so we have there's dash tenant flag and pass in here the model in my case is team but if you don't have a team tenant as a tenant you can replace team with your tenant model let's come here and paste that in hit enter let me clean this and uh, yeah install for panel so without tenancy we run this with tenancy we need to run this one.
copy, come here, paste that in, hit enter. Let's clean. Okay. Now, if the tenant flag is provided, it's going to activate the tenancy features. It's going to mix the panel tenant table and also it's going to add the sync shield tenant middleware. And also the generate relationship flag is provided, so it's going to generate a required relationship between resources models and the tenant model. Okay. Let's scroll down and we have, uh, yeah, assigning roles to the user without tenancy and with tenancy. With tenancy, we have this example, or we can use a checklist. So let's copy this and let's open the user resource. We have a form here, and right here I'm going to add this one. We need to import the model. Okay. And yeah, let me just indent this, and let's see. Customization, yeah, I, have, I am okay with that. Yeah, we have core commands here. Shield setup, we have run, also install. Now we have shield generate, it's going to generate permissions and policies. We can use the all to generate for all entities. And yeah, let me just open the database. Refresh, now we have roles. And you can see roles. Migration now has also the team ID. So roles tend to belong to the team. We have permissions, we have model has roles, and also here. We have role ID, model type, model ID, and the team ID and the same thing for model has permission permission ID model type model ID and also the team ID okay let's run this uh, shield generate all I'm going to copy that open the terminal and say php artisan uh, shield all and here is going to create the Role policy, task policy, and also the user policy for resource, role, task, and user. It's going to create also permissions here, as you can see. And yeah, now let's come here and refresh. Go to permissions, we have 30 permissions. Go to roles, we have only one role, which is the super admin, but here the team ID is null. Okay, uh, we have permissions. We have a uh, model has roles and model has permissions, but the role has permission. Now, all of the permissions are assigned to this role, which is a super admin. And this super admin, I'm going to assign to the team ID one. Okay, now I made that manually. You can go and run this shield super admin, pass in the user, and also. Or let's do that. Let's come here and let's copy this. Let's clean. PHP Artisan. And I'm going to add the flag. Dash dash user and dash dash tenant. So dash dash user to be one and dash dash tenant to be one. Hit enter. And now let's see. We have roles here. We have model has roles and we have this role ID 1, uh, model type user, model ID 1, and team ID 1. Good. If I come here and add the refresh, yeah, we have this error. So role doesn't have a relationship name team. And we saw that the role belongs to the team because we have this team ID on the permission. So we can create this. Or you can add this one or the same thing we have added on the user resource. But I'm going to create the team relationship. So open the role. And we have the role model because we uh, got roles, uh, models. We have role and permission. Now role and permission just are classes that extends 
the role extend the spotty role and the permission extend the spotty permission okay here we can customize something so for example let's create that uh, function so public function team and this is going to be the role is going to belong to the team okay let's save let's come here and let's refresh good we have roles we have only one role we have permissions good now because this role belongs to the laravel team if i go to filament we don't see nothing if i go to laravel now we see tasks we see users and roles and here the super admin has all the permissions okay so let's go to roles and i'm going to create a new role or let's create two and this one is going to be manager now the manager can uh, i'm going to select all tasks also can view and create user i'm going to create that we have this error because the team does not have relationship roles so let's do also that let's open the team model and team has many roles not belongs to many but has many and let's change also that so again manager is going to have all the tasks permissions and is going to view and create a user i'm going to create now let's go and create one more which is let's name it a writer and writer can have all the task permissions or let's just say he cannot delete okay i'm going to create that good go to users we have only this user let's create a new user here and i'm going to say this is going to be john or let's make this a manager and i'm going to say a manager test example and the password and I'm going to assign uh, the manager role. Let's create that. Go to users. Okay, let's create new user. And this is going to be John. Also, John Do here. Add the password. And this is going to be writer. I want to create that. Good. And all of them are in the Laravel uh, team. We know that because we created in this team, the, the users belong to that team. So now if I log out, sign out, and I'm going to sign in with the manager. So let's say manager test, add the password, and yeah, we, have, we are on the Laravel team, we have tasks, and we have users. Now, you can see we cannot uh, edit or delete the user but we can create new user and yeah we can uh, edit create new task and also delete the task that is okay if i go to and register a new team nothing is going to be so let's say just test here or manager team and also here manager team and yeah we are on the manager we are not seeing anything here let's log out and let's uh, sign in with a uh, john doe the same thing because we are on the laravel team we can just access the tasks because we have permissions but if we register a new team nothing so let's say uh, i'm going to say john doe team and john do slug yeah we are not seeing nothing here now if i go and sign out let's sign in with the test example okay let's close this go to roles go to users okay we have three users yeah let's create the new user here i'm going to use this uh, tweak php i'm going to say user create and the name tony email tony email.com so let's me just copy this and yeah here we have the user now if i refresh you can see we don't see that 
user here. And this is because this user is not assigned to the Laravel team. So only, let's go back and let's, we have team users, team user. And as we can see, the team ID one with the user ID one, team ID two with the user ID one, and team ID one with user two, and also user three and team three with user two and user three. But now if I log out and let's log in with Tony, I'm going to say here password because there is password. Let's register a new team. And I'm going to say example and just example also here. Good. If I sign out and let's log in now with the test. Go to users. Yeah, we don't see that uh, user. So we are not a super admin. We are a super admin. We have the role super admin. Because if I go to test user. Yeah, we are assigned a super admin, but we cannot see the, all the users because the Laravel multi, uh, the filament multi tenancy is going to query all the users based on the team. And right now, if I refresh, we can see that the user with ID four belongs to the team with ID is related to the team with ID five. Now, if I change that B1 here manually, just the C, and come here and refresh, go to users, now we see also the Tony user here. So the filament uh, multi tenancy is going to query the data based on the team we have on the URL here. Okay, we have select Laravel, it's going to select all the users who has created with a Laravel uh, team. So here I think we have issues. So the filament shield package is not supporting the multi-tenancy or maybe I'm missing something here, but as I see here, it's not supported uh, as the filament has documented the multi-tenancy. And also, as I told you, I searched and also on the GitHub repository of this package and saw that the multi-tenancy is not supported. Okay, friends, uh, that's it all about this video. I just wanted to show you how you can install and that the package is not supporting the multi-tenancy whole filament has documented. Uh, if you like such videos and tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video. And of course, you can share with your friends who want to learn more about Laravel. Now, if you have some questions, you can ask on the comments on YouTube. And yeah, see you in the next one. All the best. Thank you very much.